Hello, today we are going to cover lesson 11.2, areas of trapezoids, rhombi, and kites. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to find the area of each of these. Our only new vocab for today is height of a trapezoid because we covered the rest of the vocab in chapter 6. So, part 1, areas of trapezoids. In lesson 6.6, .6, you learned that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. These parallel sides are called bases. The height of a trapezoid is the perpendicular distance between its bases. So, notice a couple things. The bases have to be parallel. The height has to come down at 90 degrees. And because the bases are parallel, it is perpendicular. The height is perpendicular to both of the bases. In the figure below, a glide reflection of the first trapezoid results in two congruent trapezoids that fit together to form a parallelogram. So we just have two of the same trapezoids. If you recall the glide reflection, we translate and then reflect the same shape. If we fit them together, we create a parallelogram. All right. So the area of the parallelogram is the product of the height and the sum of the bases, base 1 and base 2. That is this whole parallelogram's area. So the area of only one of these trapezoids is half of the area of the parallelogram. So we have our equation that is area equals one half times height times the base one plus the base two for our trapezoid. Now this can be a regular or an irregular trapezoid, either one. We can use this equation. All right. So we're going to find the area of the trapezoid shown. We have our equation area equals one half times h times the addition of our bases. I should replace that h with a one because that is our perpendicular height. Now notice because the addition is in parentheses, I must do that. And then I can take 1 half times 1, which is just 1 half, times 5.5. And we get 2.75 square centimeters for our area. All right. Same thing goes for this next one. We have our equation. Area equals 1 half times height times base 1 plus base 2. We just plug in our info. It doesn't actually matter which one is base 1 and base 2 because they're being added together. And then I just finish solving. So I get 302.5 square feet for my area. All right. Now, this time we have to find the area of the deck still, but we are missing a base. We are missing base two. So Miguel designed a deck shaped like the trapezoid shown below. Find the area of the deck. Now, the easiest way I can think to solve this is to drop a perpendicular line in here. Meaning these guys are congruent because we know these are parallel. We have congruence there. And then we can go ahead and do the Pythagorean theorem here to solve for the x that I just wrote in. Now you'll see why I had to do that in a minute. Okay. 
end up getting x is equal to 3. Now if you notice, this whole distance is 9 feet. I know this isn't drawn to square it, a scale. If this is 3, we know the remaining piece up here, our question mark distance, has to be 6 feet. Therefore, we now have our second base. We also have our height and our first base, so we can go ahead and solve for the area. So we get 30 square feet. If you notice based on the picture that you could actually find the area of this rectangle, which is 24 square feet, and the area of this triangle, which would be 6 square feet, and then add them together to find the area of the trapezoid, you would get the same solution of 30 square feet. All right, we have Raymond is carpeting a room shaped like the trapezoid shown below. Find the area of the carpet needed. We need to do that same set of steps, okay? We drop this down. We'll do Pythagorean theorem to solve for x. x is equal to 6. That is not what our base equals though. We need to take 18, or sorry, 14 minus 6 and get 8 feet for our base. And then I can go ahead and solve using my equation. So we end up getting 88 square feet is our solution. Could also solve 64 square feet and 24 square feet and get the same thing when you add them. Okay? Now that is trapezoids, we are going to move on to rhombi and kites, area of these shapes. Recall in 6.5 and 6.6 that a rhombus is a parallelogram with all four sides congruent, and a kite is a quadrilateral with exactly two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. The areas of rhombi and kites are related to the lengths of their diagonals. So it'll tell you, this is a rhombi, this is a kite. Find the area. Your equation here is area equals half times diagonal one times diagonal two. So for area, you actually only really need to know the diagonals of your kite or rhombus. So to find the area of the first one, we have our formula, area equals one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. Diagonal one, I will say is seven, diagonal two is 12, you just go ahead and multiply these things and you end up getting 42 square feet. Okay? For this rhombus, the only difficult part is to notice that you aren't given the whole diagonal. You're only given half of each diagonal. But because they have congruences, you can go ahead and double them and then just use your equation. Area equals half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Diagonal 1 is 14. Diagonal 2 is 18. 
and you can go ahead and solve for your area. So the area is equal to 126 square inches. Yep, square inches. Okay, we have another set of problems like these. Find the area of the kite, same thing again, area equals one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. So one half times nine times 13. Oops, here we go. 13, we end up getting 58.5 square feet for our area. And then this one is like the one on the previous page. You have to double each part of the diagonal. So we're going to say area equals one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. So one half times 18 times 20. And when you solve for this, you end up getting that the area is equal to 180 square inches. All right. These ones aren't super hard, I don't think. Just a bunch of multiplication. We have to do some algebra here. One diagonal of a rhombus is half as long as the other diagonal. So if we say SU is just the original diagonal, we're going to say it is X. If RT is half as long as SU, it is half X. So let's say SU is 4. RT would have to be 2 if you plugged in 4 for x. So that works out. We set up our expression correctly. If the area of the rhombus is 64 square inches, what are the lengths of the diagonals? So we can just set up our equation. Area equals 1 half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. The area is 64 equals 1 half. Diagonal 1 is half x. Diagonal 2 is x. Now, don't make this harder than it is. You can just multiply everything on the right side. Half times half x is 0.25x, or 1 fourth x. And then multiply that by this remaining x, you get x squared. Then just solve for x. You do not need to do the quadratic because there's no plus x term over here. You can just solve like normal. So 64 divided by 0.25 is equal to 256. We have x squared. We take the square root of that. And we get that x is equal to 16. Now, we want to find the length of the diagonal. So I'm going to say diagonal 1 is equal to 16 because it's just x. Diagonal 2 is equal to half x, or 8. And these are in inches. All right. Not super hard. Didn't have to use the quadratic. So pretty simple algebra. For the last one, trapezoid QRST has an area of 21 sorry 210 square yards find the height so we're going back to the trapezoid equation we have the area oops here we'll start this over area is equal to half times height times base one plus base two So, half times h height is what we are trying to find. We have base 1, we have base 2, that equals the area 210.
we finish solving. Our height is going to equal six yards. For any problem like the last two slides, you can go ahead and plug everything back in and make sure you get the area that you're supposed to get to check. You can always check your work to make sure you did it correctly, all right? And the very last slide is just the equations for parallelogram, triangles, trapezoids, and rhombi and kites, their area equations. You're gonna need those for the test coming up so make sure you are working through those and remembering what each of them are. That's all I have for you.